Mike from Salford, does Sir Jeff have any Brian Clough stories he'd like to share? Now, he was a mate of yours, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like one of my cricket? biggest and best friends. Yeah. Uh, I used to, he used to, I first met him at Scarborough when he was playing for Middlesbrough and then he went to Sunderland. Obviously, they trained in the morning, July and August, and he'd come down then and now and watch the afternoon and evening session. Big cricket supporter. And he knew Brian uh, Close and some of the others, so I got to know him then. He was such a character that Martin O'Neill spoke at his memorial. He spoke first and I, and Barbara's request. And Martin was a good player, and he got on good, but he'd had an injury, and he'd been playing in the second team. And he couldn't get back in the first team. And he says to him one day, Manager, why am I still in the second team? He says, because I haven't got a third team. <laughs> Uh, Lee Chapman told me a story when, when, when uh, Lee Chapman was at Forest and just before half time he got the ball on the edge of the air and he, he just bent one from about 25 yards it hit the top of the bar and he comes in and, and Brian Stokes he says hey Lee that was an heck of an effort wasn't that was a fantastic effort that was it's in the bar from there he says he says I bet you haven't hit the bar from there very often have you he says no he says I bet you haven't had many shots from that distance that good he says no I haven't he says I tell you what I bet you've never scored from there have you he says no I haven't he says well don't fucking try it again then <laughs> <laughs> Trust you to come and lower the tone. Well, I'm sorry, it's a true story. We got through all the way through without him swearing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry.